What's going on guys? Alan here with Parrots & Co. And today I have my Senegal parrot, Elfie. We are going hiking in nature. Gotta get out, gotta stretch those legs. Things are looking positive. Quarantine is coming to an end. Woohoo! And it's nice for my parrot to get some sunlight outdoors. So uh, this is one of the things that I love doing with my parrot. You know, this is why I always recommend one of the first things that you can teach or train your parrot to do is harness training because you can take your parrot out to nature, hang out with it, and take it with you to different places and locations. Elfie, going hiking, buddy. Woohoo! Oh, Elfie. Ready for go, go for a hike, buddy? Oh, Elfie. Ready for a hike? Elfie, can you whistle? Good bird. Elfie. Going on the trail, buddy. Rochelle would bring me to the spot with the dangerous plants. Time to get out of here ASAP. So guys, uh, I wanted to give you guys a quick tip with your parrot in terms of teaching it new behaviors, whether that is, you know, essentially harness training, trick training, anything like that. You want to make sure that once you teach your parrot and you put all that energy and effort into teaching them something new, that you reinforce that new behavior um, or else parrots tend to forget it or they might not um, learn it well enough right so as a great example is you know it took me a while to um really get elfie used to getting onto his harness because um he's just always been naturally a feel fearful bird when i got him so it was a long process and then i realized that i hadn't put him on his harness for a while it was almost like i would say about a month we were just working on other things i wasn't getting out as much it was a little rainy and stuff and didn't put him on and then i realized that once I tried to put him back on again. He was so fussy. Um, he was trying to bite his harness. He just really didn't want to get in. So it's almost like I had to go backwards and reteach him this new behavior because he wasn't putting too much, uh, I wasn't putting too much time into reinforcing him being on his harness. So with that being said, you know, make sure that whatever trick or new behavior you teach your parrot, that you reinforce it so that, you know, things don't happen to your parrot like they did with me and Alfie, but he's good now, you know, he's getting better on his harness and stuff, so um, just something that I want to share with you guys. Oh, Alfie, we're going on an adventure, buddy. Woohoo! Adventure time. Woohoo! So awesome. Alfie don't know about this outdoor stuff. Huh, buddy? Oh, Elfie, what you doing, buddy? Elfie, how you liking your hike, buddy? Hike, hike time. You're not sure about all this nature, though, huh? Makes you uncomfortable with all this nature, huh? New experiences, new sights, new smells. Going on an adventure with Elfie Welfi. Mr. Stinker, peanut bird, not listed here, the Senegal parrot. We gotta watch out for this guy. Mm -mm. No sir, no steaks for me. Wow. Oh, Elfie, you wanna rock, buddy? He left the present. So Alfie's been a naughty bird lately and he's been fighting his harness to protest and he figured out evasive maneuvers to uh, put his harness, to not get in his harness, which I think is pretty cute. So it just means that we just gotta go backward a little bit whenever you know, you're working with your parrot and it's learned a new behavior, then it starts going backward. It probably means that the behavior wasn't solidified enough for one. And then number two, 
if there's one component that your parent struggles with, like Elfie, the, the part that he's struggling with right now is getting the final part of his harness after the head loop in. Um, so I just gotta go backward and reinforce him putting his head willingly through the loop um, and then rewarding him for that. And so basically what he does is he does this evasive maneuver where he puts his head sideways to try to dodge it so that I can't put it over his head or he'll lean his, his little head against his perch and be like, nope, can't get it on me, which I think it's cute, but obviously it just means we gotta work on some stuff together. Basically, um, just reinforcing the part where the harness goes through his head and rewarding him for that. Yeah, I mean, and just like anything else, uh, essentially parrot training is a journey. It's not an end destination. Um, you know, Elfie went back a little bit. He were working on his harness training again a little bit more, positively reinforcing it and stuff. So, um, you know, it's it's not something that I get too disappointed about, and I think you shouldn't get too disappointed about when you're training your parrot because at the end of the day, um, it's it's what I would say it's, it's a journey. You know, there's always little things you're gonna learn, small nuances you got to get better at, but just enjoy the process and have fun, and that's really what I do. Adventure time. Alfie, you've been a good bird overall. You bit your harness a few times in protest, but I'm gonna give you 4.4 stars out of five. No, 4.5. And uh, that means that 0.5 is room for improvement. All right, buddy? We're gonna work on that. We're gonna work on getting more positive reinforcement with your harness on, even though you still do great, so. What do you think? You like that? Can you give me a kiss? He's like, no. Leave me alone, human. Such an awesome day to get outdoors, have a good time, take your parrot for a walk. I gotta be on the lookout, though. This is hot country. But I leave my uh, Elfie Welfie really close to me uh, in case of imminent danger. Oh, Elfie. Oh, Alfie, you like your hike, buddy? Ooh, it's windy, huh? We made it to the top of the lake with Alfie. You did such a good job, buddy. We made it. We made it to the top of our hike, made it to the lake. It's been such an awesome time with Elfie. Um, good times getting out here, getting some sun, getting some fresh air. Overall, Elfie was a good bird, and I just love this part of being a parrot owner. And it's getting to take your feathered friends, your little buddies with you on awesome adventures. So uh, we will see you guys next time, signing out from the top of the mountain.